welcome to one of my vlogs. Today is a Saturday and we are going to a farm. So I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit. I wanted something that was, I mean it's the first proper day of sun and it's a heat wave today, but I know it'll get chilly so I've got a long sleeve dress on, just a love shack fancy one. This is from last year, but I've actually just bought the new version so I'll link that below. I've got my cowboy boots from Mango that I got in the sale, first time I'm wearing them. I wanted to wear something that, you know, I don't mind getting muddy because we're going to a farm. So I have a cold and really bad hay fever and I'm very allergic to anything to do with a farm. I always have been, so I've had all of my inhalers, antihistamine, um, but just watch, I will look like Shrek, possibly even have an asthma attack, but you know, I really want to go. So let's just, <laughs> I'm going to come in here actually, it's a bit lighter. Oh, that's much better, isn't it? So my room is all tidy, but I've just done a haul. I just unboxed my new Birkin. I'm so happy with it. Obviously that's not coming to the farm. And in my, one of my vlogs, you would have seen in the unboxing hauls, I did it yesterday, I revealed my new Dior bag and I was thinking about giving it to my mum. But I decided that if I'm going to buy her a bag, I actually think that Diorama is not practical enough for her, but just look how amazing that looks. The beigey grey trendies and everything on the right. And then that, so it looks so perfect. Well, this is going to be the most extreme vlog. I'm going from, oh my God, going from Chanel Birkin girl to a uh, farm girl. Oh, my asthma's terrible today. So the agenda of this vlog is to, it's mainly that I want to show people that um, live in London, because I know a lot of you live in the city, it's a really good day out. This is not an ad at all. This is somewhere where I used to go all the time as a child. Um, my aunt actually used to have a, a bridal gown shop there. Um, and it's actually the aunt that we lost last year. So it is very <laughs> sentimental for me and hopefully I don't feel sad when I go there. I haven't been back there since that. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I'm in the middle of a cold. Um, yeah, so I hope I see it as a nice memory and don't get sad. That's probably where I get all of my like creative side from and, and making clothes and everything you see me do like that is all from her. When I used to go to her store, we used to play, me and my sisters, we used to play in the farm. And it's the farm that I'm going to take you to now. And it's such an amazing place for families. We don't have any children and still we, we go and it's a really fun day out. They actually have things like like beauty salon, arts and crafts, um, a tailor. I actually used the tailor there. She did my wedding dress. There's so much there. And normally childhood places like this, they don't exist when you're older. And this does, and it's gone from strength to strength. They've even got an Instagram. I was really surprised. So every year we try and go, because March and April is lamb season, and you get to feed the baby lambs. And they're very strict. They only do one session, and it's a small amount of people. So we always miss the sessions, or we're travelling. So I was determined to go this year. We're going today, and we are taking my best friend's little girl. You've seen Nora before, like now and again in a couple of vlogs, but she she's not into social media. How lucky am I to have a friend that doesn't like social media? She's my best friend in the world. We met each other when we were 17. We were best friends instantly. We've never had a falling out. I think the world of her. She's the nicest person on the planet. Um, and you're going to see more of her today and she's got the most perfect, beautiful, loving little girl Poppy. So I guess you're also going to see another side to me and this is, I mean it's not the real me, like everything in this room is the real me, I've always been like this. But I am a country girl and I grew up, you know, in farms with horses and that is kind of where I come from. So I'm really happy to show you not the real me, but another side to me and how I grew up. And like Paris calls me the country girl because this I'm in my element when I go places like this. I mean, I'm going to be very allergic to everything, but we'll see how we go. Um, but hopefully you get some inspiration to do something like this with your family or your partner. Um, and I can't recommend this place enough because, you know, even if you live in London, it's well worth the drive. It's very affordable. And like I said, this is not an ad. I'm literally vlogging a day out. So let's go. Um, let's go. We're going to meet Laura, her husband, Pops. And I think we're going to start by feeding the lambs. Then 
then we'll have lunch and then we'll see the piglets i'm so i'm so excited paris is even more excited so let's go so we are nearly there i'm going to show you kind of the surrounding area because i think them so this road is extremely long it goes all the way you know to where we're going and all the way to billericay and i used to do this walk the farm is over there and there's a restaurant over there and i used to walk all the way from there to the other side of billericay which was about a three hour walk and i used to do that when i was 14 when i was a waitress and walk all the way home so this is literally where i grew up excited yeah you're so excited how long have you been waiting to do this? I asked you since we moved to Essex to do this. <laughs> no. We've arrived. So this is the entrance. All on the left there are all the cabins that I was telling you about, where all of the like shops are. I'm going out with you tonight. Are you close to here? She really does. Yeah. I never realised that they were really cuddly. Isn't it the best day ever? They're so, I can't tell you how loving and cuddly they are. They're so affectionate. What are you doing, Laura? I am feeding. <laughs> Some little darlings. This one's really fussy and only likes the green one. <laughs> really? That was so fun. I can't even tell you. I've had to come outside because the allergies I can deal with, but it started to get really wheezy. I can feel it coming. So, um, I'll be fine. <laughs> it was well worth it. They're so loving, they're so cuddly. I hope you can see me, it's very sunny. But it was just amazing. All the other children in there, they all love it. There's plenty of staff there. Um, and they're quite good at making sure no one's crowding and there's only a few people at a time. Um, but you can read anything you need to know on the website, but it has been so fun. And there's now we have like a tea, afternoon tea that we're going to do. There's tractor rides, bird shows, and it's just in the middle of the countryside. Um, and I can appreciate this sounds like an ad, but it really isn't. It's just, um, I could have just filmed what we're doing, but I really want to tell you all the information so that you come here with your family and just show you if you're going to do the long drive, what, what you can expect. But it's, spring is the perfect time because they're all the babies, all the daffodils. Poppy's having the best time ever. It's been so amazing. Even just watching the children, it's so rewarding. Watching them see have had such a good time. Okay, so everyone's coming out now. I think we're going to go on a tractor ride. It's on lugs. Can we get the chicken out? No! We're now going on the bumpy tractor ride. Is everyone ready for the bumpy tractor ride? Yeah! One, two, three. She just wants to do a sandcastle. <laughs> 
Yeah. You are like me, you wanna be free Like a summer night You love him I'm feeling down, I don't know yeah. why What an alibi But I'm glad you're here <laughs> so this cafe, it's Tip Tree, which pretty much all the jams and marmalades you see. Next time look and it will say Tip Tree Essex and that's what this cafe is. And now we're all going to have stones. Bamboo? I have a peasant for you. I do. Bamboo? You don't like toys. Don't pretend that you like toys. Yeah. Is that for you, Bambi? Is this your new toy? Tallulah is pretending that she likes toys. Oh, I know why. It's because when we get meat from the butchers, the bag looks exactly like that. Do you love it? No, the bag is like... Like the dog meat bag. Bambi, can you bring it back? Oh, she's taking it. Give me your toy. Oh, you put it in your bed. You little cute little girl. She put it in her bed. Put it in. Bambi, obviously not Tallulah. No, what toy is that? Come and see, look, Marina bought it for her. Do you love this? Do you love this? It's a shell. It's a shell, it's for you. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to take it in her bed. <gasps> Show me your toy. So this is meant to be all nice and neat, and every day it just ends up looking like that. Like, look how many toys. So they, she puts them all behind there. She loves little teddies. Do you love that new shell, Bamboo? Is that yours? Oh, she loves it. <laughs> Lula would not play with any, like, she'd be like, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you exactly what she'll do. Tululi, Tululi, no, let Tululi play, let Tululi play. You don't like it, do you? You love it though, I know you do. <laughs> okay, so these are all the bits that I took back from London. These are some wood samples. Some water samples that we got. Look at this one. Look at that. Copper, rose gold, wood. So cool. And like every shade you can imagine. Um, I'm going to show you what I bought in Harrods. And they, they weren't for me. They, they were gifts for family. God, I'm out of breath now. I'm up the stairs. <laughs> it's not out of breath, it's wheeziness. Um, I was really disappointed at Harrods yesterday, actually. It's just really not the same. I mean, I'm st I still love it. I hate these new bags that they have. I think they're such a horrible green. So how it works with Harrods when you're a black card holder, it's tiers, you know, like a point system to encourage you to shop there. And the point system just isn't good anymore, to be honest. Like, I always go out of my way to spend at Harrods for the point system. And you literally don't get anything anymore. All I get is a free coffee at certain places in Harrods, not even everywhere. I'm going to show you these. And you can book 10% days, but really it doesn't really matter because there's 10% days anyway for everyone. And like most of the places aren't included. I went to buy some furniture that's super expensive <coughs> and they don't give 10%. And one of the perks that I loved is that you could go and buy like three gifts, so I could buy like three of these, and then you could get for free <coughs> this beautiful white box that says like Harrods in the corner. You could then pick any ribbon, and I've actually just realised that doesn't even say Harrods anymore. Great. I could have literally bought that for 50p, but actually I paid £6 for that. Um, yeah, and I could get three of these. Have it gift wrapped in any paper with a ribbon, and it would be part of my black card holder benefit, you know. 
So I went to get this box to wrap all the things and then I wanted an extra one for another present and the bill came to £60 and I couldn't believe it and I said that should be free. And this is what you get free now. You get one box like this, like, a, like the ugly box. It's so small, you can't. I can't even fit any of my gifts in it. So, I mean, I took that anyway because it's free and my mum will like it. And I don't mean to be, like, complaining because I still love Harrods. Of course I do. I just think their reward scheme is, like, I'm basically not bothered about spending my money in Harrods for the point scheme anymore. Like, that's all I'm going to say. So if I find something in Selfridges or, or online, I'm now not going to be like, oh, let me go spend it in Harrods because of my, my Harrods card. No. I do not care about this box so yeah i had to pay a fortune for this and i'm so annoyed that that doesn't say harrods because i'm buying it for a gift for someone that doesn't go to harrods often and you know the harrods bag and the ribbon it's all something that they like so rant over and i'm going to show you what i bought my nephew put it all in this nice box this is wrapped but this is the oh god i always forget the name oh it's called cool. Oh, my phone's ringing. It's called Velour Angel Wings. And I think it's um, Chantel something. I'll put the name here. I always forget it. And I'll put a picture here. Comes in white, pink and blue. I bought a white one. And when I used to do personal shopping there. And with my, I'd have my you know clients. Everyone would buy one of these. Baby girls. They're around £70. And I used to think to myself... By the way, that's what I look like. That's why I'm not showing you myself. I've just woken up on a Sunday morning. And I always said I'd buy one of these for when I had a baby, but, you know, still don't have one. And in here is, I don't want to get it out, but it's a Harrods own label, Baby Grow and Booties. The reason why I wanted to show you these is... No, we're not looking at me. The reason why I wanted to talk about Harrods own label is because, like, clearly this is not a sponsor. I've just actually spoken badly about Harrods. I'm literally just telling you some useful information. Don't get confused with Harrods signature and Harrods own label. Harrods own label is a beautiful, high quality clothing. And they do it for adults and they do it for children. Harrods signature is like the fun touristy stuff, like the plastic diaries, the pencil case, the plastic bags. Harrods own brand is actually so beautiful. It's very expensive. Like this baby girl is £50 and it's, it's literally just that. They do have a little Harrods logo on it, so you can see their Harrods bear. And the reason why I buy these as gifts to somebody and I buy them for my own children is the fabric is the softest. This is the softest fabric I've ever felt with a baby groom. And every time I go to buy something else, apart from velour like this, nothing is as good quality. When I bought it for my nephew about 10 years ago, my sister said it was the best quality and washes really well. So anyone who's looking for really cute baby grows, they're not as expensive as these brands, but they're so beautiful. And Harrods own label for babies and children is like, like royal family kind of clothing like old traditional style which i love for children so i got that gonna put it in here um and i also bought from blue almonds a really cute like beautifully made wooden hairbrush so i'm gonna put that all together and then paris and i this is so boring i'm just feeling a white box i know um I'll tell you what we're doing later when I'm dressed. So I'm not over my rant from Harrods. I just think it's a really poor show from Harrods. And I have literally sung their praises for years. And don't get me wrong, I still love, like I said, I still love Harrods. But I'm just really disappointed in them from this. Like, not looking after their customers. Like, look at this box. I actually paid for this. And it's like this on all the corners. There are stains everywhere. Like, marks everywhere. And I am giving this today and like, oh, it's just really annoyed me because it's so expensive for what it was. Um, and like I say, it's not part of the privilege. Like, look at the state of that. And I can't be bothered to complain. I just really hate bad service. And I hate bad service because I was trained by Harrods to be, you know, it's instilled in me to give good service. Like, I get that from them. So yeah, a bit disappointed in that. And I'm not, I'm honestly not one to complain, but I just think that's a bit of a joke. I tried to clean it with like a, like a, just not even damp cloth. 
and now it looks even worse so that's really embarrassing and the last time I'll get one of them boxes before I end this vlog I want to show you some bits that I bought in Zara I bought this whole um, outfit I really liked the shape of the tee it's ribbed had it in black white and grey um, I bought these ribbed trousers with a little frill at the bottom this color is not normally me this is kind of like my worst pink but I just thought it screamed holiday vibes um, and the price wasn't too bad either and I got one for my friend for her birthday I thought this would look really cute I'm actually going to do a style haul so I'm not going to it's gonna be about dressing up high street and simple pieces but look how cute that is with that um, so I'm not gonna try it on now but if you're subscribed you can watch this kind of haul next week, but just to give you a little sneak peek, this Chanel belt around the waist, and also this belt, and if you haven't seen any of these, they're all in my hauls, if you want to know more, this Chanel belt around here, like completely different vibe, this would be with um, like Gucci flats or something, or something really simple, just a complete different vibe from leather to a silver chain belt. So that's that, I bought that and I bought one, oh no actually I bought a few more things. I bought this dress. Okay I'm really not organised here, what the hell is going on. It's like a lemon wrap silky dress, it's amazing. I saw it on Lorna Lux's stories actually. Um, said to my friend, should I get this medium or small? She looked at me, looked at the dress, she said get a small. I got a medium and it's far too big. And this amazing silky oversized blouse. I'm so unorganised, it's because we've got a table booked and we're late. With these trousers, just for holiday. They're high-waisted with a frill. Um, trousers with a pocket. Yep, that's the product number. And it looks so good with the cream belt. Let me show you. Don't worry if I haven't... This is not a haul, by the way, I'm just literally showing you. But don't worry if you want to see it on. I'm going to do a whole haul next week, but that's the vibe. I got the matching shirt with this. It looks so chic. I love these kind of all cream looks and just silky, plain things with like statement earrings like that. I just think it looks really, really, really nice. So make sure you're subscribed and I'm going to try all of these on. Super scatty, aren't I? I'm going to try all of them on in next week's haul and just show you how I style something super simple because you can get something like this give it to five women and they could all wear it different like I know my friend she's going to wear this with some golden goose sneakers I know she is and then you'll have another girl that will wear it with high heel strappy shoes um, ankle boots, knee high boots I just love like this to me is like a stylish dream you can just make so many looks of it so um, I do really want a black one, but I just thought I'd do pink for fun. This is what I look like. If you ever see me around, like not working casual on a Sunday, this is literally me kind of vibe. So comfy, because we're gonna go for a roast dinner with the, you know, there'll be a fireplace on. I, do, I just want to feel really comfortable. So my, always the same trick. Basically go out in a pair of pajamas, cool jacket, nice shoes, flats. Um, I'm gonna drop this after our lunch and if you're not subscribed already uh, do subscribe because then I'm going to show you how I style this um, I'm actually really excited to do it not not just this like how to style super simple outfits affordable pieces and how you can make it your own kind of like not teaching you that's patronizing but just showing you how you can get something simple and just tips how you can you know make it your own so I'll see you in the next one.